file, new, and then type in where you want to name your twirl picture. And then you want to set your uh, pixels to what size you want. For like a display picture, maybe you want to go 100 and 100. Right now I'm going to make a background. So I'll click OK. Then where your gradient tool is, go to paint bucket tool, switch it to black right at the end right here or here, it doesn't matter. And then just paint the whole thing. Then what you want to go to is filter up at the top. And then go to render and then clouds. And then once you've done that, go to pixelate, mesotint, and then it'll show up like that. I know this looks really weird, but you'll see. And then what you want to do is go to blur, radio blur, go to zoom, fast, drag this arrow all the way back, click OK, wait for that to load. Then you'll have this. And then what you want to do is right click this, duplicate the layer, hit OK. See this eye thing? I want to click that out. Then go back to your normal background. Then go to filter, distort, twirl, and then I want to go to 150 and then hit OK. Hit the eye tool back. Do go back to distort, twirl. Then right here, you want to hit a uh, minus and it'll be like the opposite. And then when you have this highlighted, right above it is this and then click the arrow and go to lighten and like combine them then if you want to change the colors hold control and U I'll bring up this box go colorize and then it'll turn red right away but then drag the hue and it'll change the colors Let's just go with blue or purplish blue, whatever. And then right here, control U again, colorize, pick your color. And then hit OK. And then you should be done. And if you want to save it, go file, save as, in your documents, right here you want to go to JPEG, JPEG, and just name it right here. And then drag this to large file, quality 12, it will have, probably have that already set there. But just take a look at this if you don't have it like this. Okay. And then you should be done. And then 